Yo, what is happening, everybody? It is me, Kaylee McCoy, the Geek Queen, back at it again with another amazing video for you. Yes, you. And as you can see, I got a new hat. It is going to be my lucky director's hat. But that's not why I'm here. By the way, you'll see the unboxing for this hat coming up very soon, so stay tuned for that. I want to let everybody know that this video is strictly a theory video this is there's no evidence that this is true or not this is based on theories and this is not like accurate or anyway means shape or form i don't have any like way to express by the way don't ignore this spray bottle this is just cleaner <laughs> I just noticed it was in the background. My bad. Okay, but anyway, guys. So, pretty much. Okay, I want to go over here. Okay, pretty much. This video is going to be taking the Chucky characters from the TV series. And pretty much, um, my theory on what, how, how this is going to go down. How the show is going to go. And all together as a whole. So... Uh, please keep watching because I'm probably going to blow some minds, have people asking a lot of questions and all sorts of stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first character we're going to focus on is Jake. So Jake is the main protagonist of the TV show. And, or at least he's like the very main center of attention. Uh, his character is... LG, a member of the LGBTQ, around 13, 14 years of age, um, and yeah, he has a run-in with Chucky, pretty much based on the trailer, he gets Chucky from a uh, yard sale, and I think it's for a project. According to him, he likes vintage, retro-y stuff, so we can assume that he does like old school stuff and he's really really cool and unfortunately in his town he's the outcast he's not popular he has well he has maybe one friend in the whole world and um that friend happens to be his crush so we're gonna start with that being that jake is the main character he is the one that i feel like in the show based on the trailer i feel like chucky is going to try to make him join his team make him join his cult if you will um in the trailer we see jake pick up like a knife of some sort of like a sharp curved weapon um pretty much what i can say about this character is that basically it seems like he is sort of accepted by his family um anyone at school thinks he's just not not does not pass the vibe check for them and uh before you go and say um so they're homophobic pretty much like some of them maybe i don't know maybe some of them just don't like how he acts versus his sexuality it, like maybe his sexuality has nothing to do with the reason why they don't like him maybe it's just because he's different and they don't like different so you know how it is high school cesspool cesspool you're different you, they don't like you <laughs> that's how it goes and we most of us have been through that already or are experiencing that so this this character jake actually might be one of the one of the characters we're probably gonna like definitely in the show and that's all I have to say about Jack. Jake, let's go ahead and move on to the next character. Okay, so the next character we're gonna talk about is actually, it's actually gonna be two characters in one. We're gonna be talking about Jake's uncle. Um, I might have two pictures right here. Um, who is the neat, clean one, who I think actually supports his nephew being a member of the LGBTQ and just, cause of course, I mean, who would let, uh, you wouldn't let your nephew stay if you didn't support him, right? So yeah, and um, he he's married, he's nice, whatever. Um, the uh, the next picture, okay, this is played by the same actor, guys. So this other character is Jake's dad, who looks messy and he's just not clean and he's 
he he does not support his son saying oh you used to have friends you used to be cool now you're just a, a disappointment or whatever and um i have theories on jake's mom but that will come later in the video but yeah pretty much what i can tell from you see the, this this actor he's in a neat outfit and cleaned up that's that's the uncle if you see him in the coveralls and just messy beard that is the dad we do not like the dad we like the uncle we don't like the dad the actor i think understood the assignment we can tell by the trailer that he the, the dad is just horrible hates his son i mean he said he claims to love his son but i think he just verbally abuses his son i'm not sure if he physically abuses it, his son we'll see later in the show but obviously a mom if she is dead put in her will she does not want the father to have custody of Jake so we don't know it might it might be something else I mean of course according to story plot Jake's mom is dead unless that's what they want us to think because in a Chucky movie or a TV show no one's actually really dead um, so that's kind of part of my theory anyway we're gonna go ahead and go to the next character okay guys so the next character we're gonna be talking about is Devin or Devon I'm not sure how they pronounce it in the show but yeah pretty much this character is Jake's friend and his crush um I'm not sure if he is a member of the LGBTQ or not but well, I guess we'll find out, but pretty much what I can tell, I'm, I'm going to assume it's going to be one of those. <sighs> it's either going to end up being Jake gets his heart broken because Dav Devin's really, Devin or Devon is really sweet and he's like, look, I want to just be friends. He might get his heart broken, but it's like you're in early high school. It's like fresh has never really seemed to work out. Um, or they're gonna end up together. I, I don't know yet. That's all I can say about that. Okay, this character, already based on what I can tell from her, I'm getting very popular girl vibes. Her name is Lexi. Uh, so far I do not like her. <laughs> she does not like Jake, um, but is very fond of her, of his cousin, who we'll talk about in a minute. Um, she's dating Jake's cousin, doesn't seem to really like, doesn't really seem to like Jake. Uh, don't know why, I think she's just because she's like the, the top of the food chain popular girl, and so is, um, Jake's cousin. So, I guess we'll figure out once the show starts, but so far, um, based on what I can tell from her pictures and trailer-wise, she, she just seems like she would do anything to stay on top and having Jake in their like little friend group i think because i think jake's cousin wants desperately for jake to be a part of it but i feel like she's like yeah no it's not gonna fit my um my how i see things because she's like i'm in charge around here me i'm the popular girl so what i say goes you know that's how she is as a character i feel like i mean i think later on in the show i think she's gonna eventually become friends with jake and realize oh no he's not such a bad guy so hopefully we'll see but if she continues to be mean a popular girl then i'm probably not gonna like this character just how it is just how it is so pretty much this character is jake's cousin junior weber and pretty much what i can tell from the trailer it seems like he's kind of distant from his cousin but he really wants his cousin to be a part of the the popular crowd however i feel like jake does not want to be a part of the popular crowd he he wants people to like him but i don't think he wants to be a part of the popular crowd i think he just wants people to accept him for who he is and that's pretty much it and when it comes to the new characters okay there are other characters uh like for example there's the mayor can't really get a read off of her yet i think she'll do anything to cover all the chunky mess up like she'll just be like covering it up i don't think she'll survive the whole series though um there's this little girl that chucky makes friends with who i think is the mayor's daughter uh 
who is like, I guess, five, six years old, she seems sweet, but also seems like she's gonna become really obsessed with Chucky and try to be his friend, even though Chucky is evil and manipulative. Seems like uh, we're gonna have a doctor talk to her, psychiatrist, something like that. It just seems like the typical MO. Um, we have um, uh, Jake's aunt and uh, Junior's mom. Uh, she seems like a nice lady, <laughs> from what I can tell from clips. Like, she supports them, like, just want Jake to be okay. Like, that's literally their thing, unless... I don't, again, I don't know. These are just theories. So yeah, we're gonna go on to characters we already know, but are returning, because I want to go on to them. Okay, first we're gonna start with Tiffany. Tiffany, um, she looks like she's gonna try to be mommy, dearest, like, Definitely what I get from her, like this vibe, this dress is like Serial Mom. I'm not saying that in a mean way, like I love the movie Serial Mom. She just looks so fancy, she just looks beautiful. Just looks like the typical, oh I made you kids cookies type character, but we all know Tiffany is a little bit mm, shifty. Uh, but I still like Tiffany. I think Tiffany definitely deserves better than Chucky. I'm. Like, I know their relationship so well now, where I think Tiffany is not going to stay on Chucky's side throughout the whole show. I don't see it working. Um, yeah, but that's all I have to say. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next character. Nika Pierce is returning. I don't know necessarily if Chucky's going to have full control of her, some control, or just no control over her this time around. I think um, it's going to be Chucky and Nika's body for like at least the first season. I know that for a fact. We don't know if she's gonna get full control again, and I kind of hope she does because Chucky's kind of a jerk. But anyway, pretty much what I gotta say about this char what this character is that I'm hoping if she does get full control of her body, she actually will be able to still walk. I think since Chucky took her ability to walk, it should be his mean jerkiness that gets it back because, I mean, she's able to walk now because Chucky's in her, and I think if Chucky leaves her body, I think she should still be ha able to have that ability to walk. Hopefully, hopefully. Fingers crossed, you know, you never know. Okay, Andy Barkley is to return. Um, I think he's going to definitely be a vigilante. I think he's going to try to save the children of the area. It's supposed to be Chucky's hometown, so I'm assuming it's New Jersey, Hackensack, New Jersey, maybe. I don't know, but I'm hoping that Andy is there to be like da 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 Tommy Jarvis type character for this show and just show up and save the kids, help the kids. I don't know what's gonna happen. This is where I get into theories about Jake's mom. I don't think Jake, Jake's mom's dead. I think they're just saying she's dead, but honestly, could be dead. Here's my theories. Either Jake's mom is this next character I'm gonna talk about, or she's actually dead in the grave. But this would make sense. And before everyone gets mad and starts going, that's not true, that's not possible, blah, 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 blah. We don't know what happened with Kyle since we last saw her in Child's Play 2. We just know that she returned in, at the end of Cult of Chucky and she's coming back into the show. But is it possible that she could be Jake's mom? It's possible. Before I go and say, it's not possible, there's no, there's no way she would ever date that kind of creep. We don't know her type. We've never seen her date. This is the thing. We've never seen Kyle date. We've seen Andy try to date. It was a disaster. And, um, with Kyle, we've never seen her try to date. This is, like, literally, things could happen. The math makes sense. She could have had a kid within this timeline, or she could have her... She could be a foster mom, maybe. I mean, it would make sense if she was a foster mom because, I mean, she was in foster care. She understands what these kids go through on a regular, so... I mean, who knows? Okay, so pretty much a list of characters... This is gonna be a list of characters I do not think are gonna survive this show. Jake's dad, I don't think he's gonna survive. I think Chucky's going to ax him off. I don't think the aunt and uncle are gonna survive either. Here's the thing, some of these characters I think are nice and kind, but Chucky does not care how nice and kind you are. He will end your life. The mayor, I think the mayor is going to die. <laughs> I think I think the mayor is going to die. I think it's mostly going to be the kids who survive. 
Uh, Devin's mom actually might make it. Yeah, I forgot to mention Devin's mom, sorry. Uh, yeah, Devin's mom is gonna be in the show. I don't know if she's gonna survive. She might. Or she might, like, survive long enough for when they get to, like, the middle of the show. Like, maybe, like, season three, season four, she might actually die. I don't know. These, these are just theories, like I said. Um, here's the thing. I think there's gonna be another attempt for Chucky to kill Tiffany, and I just have a bad feeling about that. Here's what I think is gonna happen. If Chucky tries to kill Tiffany again, she's definitely going to be siding with Kyle and Andy, and they're gonna all try to take down Chucky. And if they get Nika back, she's also gonna be on their side, so she's gonna try to take down Chucky with them. So they're gonna be there to protect the kids. That is what I think is gonna happen in this show. And pretty much that's all I gotta say about that. But uh, yeah, um, Chucky coming October 12th this year um, on Sci-Fi in the USA at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so my time pretty much, at 10 o'clock at night. Um, for some of you, it might be earlier, it might be 9 o'clock, it might be later, it might be like 12 o'clock, so DVR it if you can. But yeah, October 12th, that, that's when it comes on. So you guys, stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome, can't wait to watch it, can't wait to review every single episode with you. The next um, major review video will be for the first ever Child's Play movie. So yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this amazing video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell to stay up to date. Also, if you didn't know, I have merch. And you can get your merch on uh, the Teespring website, or it's probably called Spring now, I don't know. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you Cape Crusaders in the next video. See you later guys, bye.